I quite like these oil-filled radiator type heaters, but they have a major design flaw and that is unless you use them on its lowest power level, setting 1, they get hot enough that the internal overheat thermostat trips, which means the uh, higher levels aren't really usable. And on this one, this one only has one power level. The internal thermostat, that's the overheat protection right there, tripped so many times it stopped working altogether. And here's the old one. Uh, it broke when I extracted it. The thing is, these are only meant for overheat usage, not for switching on and off all the time. And I managed to find some replacements on AliExpress. And I've just mounted a new one in here, and I'll test that one first. So to test this thing, I've got it hooked up to a TP-Link smart plug for measuring the power. I jammed the temperature sensor against the back of where the other one is and another one on top. And now let's turn this thing on. And here's the power level that's gone up to about 570 watts. Temperature hasn't risen yet. Give it some time. While that test is running, I'll tackle this one. The problem with this one is even at its lowest settings, the overheat thermostat inside would trip. So somehow that thermostat is a bit too defective and I figure I'll swap it for another one. Oh, that's annoying. This heater uses some of these uh, three-pointed tamper-proof screws, but I think I can get a regular screwdriver in there. Oh yeah. Same nasty screws on here. So fortunately the overheat thermostat in this one is very similar to the ones I bought, so I can swap this. Looks like I've got some thermal grease goo on here. I'll save that and put it back in here. These connectors are often hard to get off. So this is the one I just took out and this is the one I bought. This one says 70 degrees on it whereas this one says 85 degrees on it. Well a bit of a higher temperature probably helps a bit because this one always tripped far too early. I just got to modify this new one a bit to uh, make it fit in the space for the old one. And, and this one is meant to mount on something flat whereas this one protrudes. So if I just take this ring and now put it on the other way around. There. The way these heaters work is there's actually two elements here. One is about 650 watts, the other one is about 850 watts. And the uh, overheat thermostat is actually only in series with the more powerful of the two heaters. I guess the lower one is okay. There's another thermal protection here. I think this is probably a thermal fuse. That is, if that goes, it doesn't come back. And then up here we have the uh, tip over protection switch. So if the uh, heater's on its side, that cuts power. Here's the thermostat, here's the power switch, that selects and setting 1, the 650 watt element, setting 2, the 850 watt element, and setting 3, both of them. And up here is the uh, pilot light, and that's actually wired in such a way that if this switch trips, that stays on. And I just realized in setting 1, because we don't actually use this thermal overprotection switch, it didn't really matter. In setting 2, we use the more powerful element that goes through the switch, and that switch tripped way too easily, which meant in setting 2 we actually had less power than setting 1 because that overprotection switch would trip all the time. So given that I only use this thing in setting 1, swapping out that overprotection switch was kind of redundant. I'm using more sensible standard Phillips screws to put this thing back together. And now let's test the bigger heater. So with a new 85 degree thermostat, it still trips the uh, thermal overprotection, which I don't want to happen and I've experimented. I drilled a few extra holes in here to try to cool this side. Didn't help, but if I set the dial to right about here, that means this thermostat trips before the overprotection, so hopefully that'll make it last a long time. And this one with the 85 degree overheat protection instead of 70 degree overheat protection, it will run continuously if it's set to 1, but if I set it to 2, it will trip the overheat 
just like the other ones that I've got of this style. They're really 600 watt heaters and should always set them to one. Setting them to anything higher than one doesn't give you extra heat because when the overheat thermostat kicks in, it doesn't come back for a long time. So on average, you're still getting about the same amount of power. If you set it to one, you can plug two of those into the same socket. And even with these flaws, I like these heaters a lot. And actually we heat much of the house with heaters like this. And I know heating your house with electricity is kind of a crime, but uh, natural gas here is quite expensive. Oil heat is expensive. So it turns out that uh, electric heating is actually one of the most economical ways to heat your house here. And as such, there's very little incentive to replace this uh, 50 year old boiler in our house. We just use it when it's really cold outside and the electric's not able to keep up because at the prices we've been quoted for replacing it, it would never ever amortize itself.